Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here from the Blu-ray Critic. At least that's what I'm known on uh, Instagram and YouTube. Anyway, I'm driving, taking care of some errands, and um, I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so I thought I'd take you guys on the road with me. Here's a nice view of the valley on my left. And uh, yeah, we're expecting some rain soon, so I'm like, oh, what the hell? That was a good time to do a quick video. So yeah, this is Mulholland Drive. I've done this video many years ago on YouTube, but I um, thought I'd do it again. Fortunately, it's all cloudy down there. Otherwise, we could have seen um, Catalina Island, Pacific Ocean. There's actually the entrance to Warren Beatty's house right there. And he has a um, security right at the gate. So. so don't even think about it if anybody ever tries to, you know, pay a visit or whatever. But anyway, we're approaching um, more estates in a gated community. That's where Sylvester Stallone lives, Mark Wahlberg. Denzel Washington, Magic Johnson, Eddie Murphy's there as well. I love driving on this street because it's kind of zigzag coming up right here. Really fun street to drive on. Of course, I obey the rules. I stay within the lines, but some people just go in the complete opposite direction. But um, yeah, Jack Nicholson's house is approaching as well. There's more shots on my left. But yeah, love driving. You know, this is a famous uh, street. You know, they had the movie Mulholland Drive, uh, Mulholland Falls with Nick Nolte, which is a pretty damn good movie. Very underrated movie. So here's a shot of the valley. Really beautiful clouds, nice sunset. There's a nice shot on the right. Love that view. There's a big mansion right there, the white one. I don't know who it belongs to though. Sorry, I'm just winging it handheld. Appreciate it that you guys are bearing with me. So yeah, where the lights are on the tree, that's where uh, the uh, community is for uh, Beverly Park. And that's where, as I mentioned, Eddie Murphy lives there. Magic Johnson, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark. And this street continues. I mean, there's some cutoff points on Mulholland Drive, but mainly it's continuous. You can pretty much uh, cut across through the valley just staying on Mulholland. You know, at least from like Encino, Tarzana area, all the way to Studio City. Even Hollywood, for that matter. And a Jack Nicholson's house is coming up on the right side. That's where also Marlon Brando used to live, right here on the right side, beyond those gates. So yeah, every time Jack goes in and out of the house, he leaves those, he goes in and out of those gates. And we're soon, uh, we'll be approaching Coldwater Cannon. You can actually see Jack Nicholson's house right at the top there, just a little peek. He's been there since the early 70s, ever since uh, Chinatown was made. I think Chinatown was made in 1974, so, or actually the late 60s. I believe um, 1969 is when he moved in, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, if we uh, keep going this way, the next street coming up is uh, Lake Glen, and that's where Elisa Rinna lives. Also, Harry Hamlin lives there as well. And that's the street right here. So, and that's pretty much the main interesting point of Mulholland Drive. So we've just approached, uh, we're rather approaching Coldwater Canyon. So hope you guys enjoy this quick little tour of Mulholland Drive. Appreciate all the folks that stayed with me to watch this. And as always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.